With wind turbines and solar collectors, the village of Wildpotsried is doing its bit to combat global warming. The mayor, Arno Zengerle, has been an advocate of renewable energy sources for 15 years. His first ally for a shift to sustainable power was farmer Wendelin Einsiedler. Everything that happens anywhere depends on people, whether people get on with one another or not, and whether or not there's resistance. We happen to have the good fortune that there are many influential people who've taken up this issue and are pushing it forward. A single individual doesn't stand a chance. These cows produce the raw material for renewable energy on Einsiedler's farm. The energy farmer, as he calls himself, loads their dung into a tank where bacteria break it down into the high energy fuel methane. He then sells that product to the municipal utility company. Twenty years ago, I realized that this is the only way to do things. I'm a farmer who works with nature, and renewable energy means working with nature and not against it. So I was convinced, and I needed this conviction in order to convince others, so that it could develop and expand in Wildpolzried. The village has received various environmental awards for its efforts. Here, one in four houses use solar energy. Peter Rao heats his home with it. Like all producers of renewable energy, he profits from government subsidies. They make it easier for people to join the effort. The panels cost 15,000 euros. We got a subsidy, a little more than 4,500 euros. And it's going to take about seven years before they pay for themselves, depending on how much sun there is. In many places in Germany, there's resistance to expanding sustainable sources of energy. But not in Wildpolsried. The people in this community have realized that they can earn money with the green commodity. Everybody who owns a share in the wind turbines or who hooks up to the village heating system has low-priced heat. Everyone profits financially, and that's an important factor in gaining popular support. Many people elsewhere think wind turbines are a blot on the landscape, but here they are seen as a lucrative investment. The village operates nine wind turbines and plans to install two more in the near future. But an excess of renewable energy brings problems of its own. The amount of current that solar and wind energy feed into the power grid fluctuates and, in extreme cases, the system can overload, leading to a power failure. So, a research project is measuring just how much electricity is consumed every second. In the future, surplus power will be used to charge batteries for electric cars. The people responsible for this project think that we already have the prerequisites that all of Germany will have in 2020 or 2022. There's a wide variety of energy sources being fed into the electrical grid. And our village is the ideal place to field test aspects of such a system. Wildpotsried is writing climate protection history. Some especially zealous citizens wanted to mount solar cells on the roof of the church, but that would have violated local conservation laws.